Hi everyone, my name is Geordie Howell and I am the Chair of the Music Committee of ICEB and today I'll be talking about music transcription, so the innovation in Braille music translation processes and transcription practices to produce more music for Vision Australia Braille clients. So this presentation will outline the manual transcription process and demonstrate the order of signs and short forms uh, terminology used to speed up the transcription process, discuss the importance of the Braille Music proofreader and quality checking in transcription process when working from electronically translated scores, and explore semi-automated uh, transcription processes used by Vision Australia as we implement Braille translation packages into our work to produce more music for our clients. Vision Australia employs both blind and sighted transcribers in our transcription team. Uh, one blind transcriber has worked for the organisation for over 40 years and is still working today, which is pretty fantastic. Blind transcribers work with music proficient sighted volunteers who often have no knowledge of the Braille music code. The volunteer reader or copy holder is given the printed score to work from, while the blind transcriber works in the Duxbury Braille translator with Braille display output using direct Braille. The reader is taught to read in a set order using specific language and to read as they see the notes on the page. We begin every transcription with the title information, composer, composer's dates, and then the key and time signature. There is always a discussion between the transcriber and copy holder about the format of the piece and the most user-friendly way to present the score according to the needs of the client who is requesting and the purpose for which the score is being transcribed. For vocal music, a line of words is brailled, ending as close to the end of the braille line as possible after a punctuation sign mark uh, if that is present. And for a text in a language other than English, the words are spelt out in place of a space. The reader taps with a pencil uh, to indicate a new word. An example of this might be D-U-B-I-S-T-D-I-E-R-U-H. The music line is then brailled below the lyric line. Octave signs are dictated in ordinal numbers. For example, fourth for fourth octave and notes are abbreviated. So crotchet, crotch, min for minim, sem for semi-breve or semi-quaver, and quavers are read out as notes with no value. Articulation is shortened. Stack for staccato, ten to neuto, short grace for a cacciatura, trip for triplet. Before we begin to transcribe a piano piece, the reader is asked to work through the score to find all the bar repeats that may be present, which saves a heap of time later on. They must ensure that repeat references do not relate to a bar that already repeats an earlier bar, thus creating a circular reference. The copy holder uses a pencil to mark in the repeats, doublings, and any other information they want to provide at a given time. At the end of a session, the copy holder writes, read to here or proofed and dates their work so that the next copy holder has a starting point and an idea of what has occurred in the previous session to maintain continuity. Again, we dictate in order of signs in piano music as they are seen on the page and correct in terms of braille music rules. The order is as follows, dynamic, phrasing, articulation, octave sign, note, fingering, interval, we abbreviate a piano C semi-brief chord played with the right hand with fingers one, three, and five as follows. Right hand, P, open phrase. Fourth, G sem five with its third three and its fifth one. So I thought I'd give you a quick example of a Haydn sonata read in short form uh, Braille music language just to give you a bit of a sense of how we do it. So bar 47 of this uh, sonata in C, third movement. Let's see if anyone recognizes it. <laughs> right hand, fourth A, A, crash, 
Staccatissimo, sharp fifth, D4, D2, slur, left hand. Third, D min tie in a chord, sharp third, F, F, B, B, slow bar. Right, long brace, sharp F sem four, E, sharp D sem, E sem, dim, fifth, C1, C3. Left, third, D min in a chord, fourth, C, C, A, A bar. Bar 49. This is a new print line four. Repeat bar 47, both hands. Dictating Braille Music is a booklet written by Roma Dix, which steps out how to teach a sighted person dictation in a straightforward language to a blind friend. It includes examples to practice and works through a variety of music formats. This is available, available in PDF from the ICEB Music webpage. At Vision Australia, we use the Goodfield Braille Translation suite of packages in combination with several off-the-shelf software packages. So I'm going to list those now. Photoscore converts printed music to music XML. Files are imported into Sibelius, another print off the shelf music editing software package. And this is to import them for error checking. Our sighted transcriber edits the Sibelius score to the best of her ability, eradicating errors and fixing bars with extra signs that have not been translated. Music XML files are imported into Lime, which is part of the Good Feel package, a print music editing uh, program. And the Lime files are converted into Braille using Good Feel. Braille files are then given to our transcribers for correcting, adding extra information and formatting. Although Braille music translation software has meant much more music in the Vision Australia library catalog, we consider the proofreading step essential for a well-presented score when it has been trans transcribed electronically. Manual transcription allows a score to be customised if a client has made a specific request. For example, young musicians often prefer less repeat bars, which involve complex hand movements and flicking back pages in, in the score. For study purposes, for example, in harmonic analysis at university, full inner chords may be preferred to part bar inner chords for a Bach fugue so that you can see all the voices. In conclusion, technology has meant significant developments in the Vision Australia, uh, Vision Australia transcription process in the last few years. We are still learning to integrate electronic translation into our workflow and producing more music from XML, as well as scanning clear hard copy print and PDF scores, sources as well. The formats we have experimented with are piano music, vocal works, and orchestral scores. Our findings are that the automated process runs more smoothly when braille, brailing piano music or single line instrumental music. Vocal works require significant formatting in the braille editing stage. Many volunteers have worked with us for a long time and in some, case, in some cases, several decades. We have shared interests as we've all worked in the same field. We're often music teachers or performers or some of our volunteers have been examiners and I had one who was the director of the Gilbert and Sullivan Society retired. And they have become special friends as we work together to produce more music in the best possible way for our clients. Thank you.